Respected Excellency, Mr. Firat Sunil from Turkey, Secretary of uh, School Education, Sri Sanjay Kumarji, Mr. Venso, the President of uh, ASENI from France, esteemed dignitaries, guests from embassies, delegate members from French, France, various CEOs, MDs, and people connected with the ecosystem of publishing. I welcome you all to this new edition of CEO Speak, after a gap of two years in physical format. I'm very glad that we are meeting in person now after a gap of two years. We have been organizing this for last almost 10 years, wherein we have invited very significant stalwarts of publishing industry who came, who shared their views and vision out here. And that's how we have been evolving as an industry. I personally believe that books may be published in one part of the country or one part of the world, but the content has to be global. It has to cross the boundaries. Books may not, but the content will definitely do that. And these are the forum where we can deliberate upon these issues, where we can connect world through the power of knowledge and content. That's how this idea of collaborating with uh, FIKI and NBT came together, and this forum has become a brand itself. So I congratulate and convey thanks to all my key stakeholders, all participants, to achieve this 10th uh, edition here, and a big success. It's very, very significant that today we, as a country, India is celebrating the G20 presidency. And the theme of the topic for this year deliberation is also the publishing opportunities in the future of uh, publishing in G20 nations. I'm sure a lot of good issues will come up. And India is celebrating the presidency. So it's a great, great opportunity for all of us to explore the potential of books, publishing, and book culture in each other's sphere. So give me great pleasure to host my French delegates, because France is the guest of honor. They have a huge delegation here. And uh, the highest uh, person uh, in that capacity, we have Mr. Vinso, who is heading the entire publishing industry as the president of SNE. Sir, I welcome you all with all your delegates. It's my pleasure to invite you here. And I would like to put on record, we had a wonderful presentation in compliance to the Prime Minister-President Joint Accord in 2018, where India was guest of honor in 2020. We had a wonderful uh, presentation in coordination with our counterpart. Now they are in India, and they are hosting this presentation in our uh, book fair right now. Coming to the uh, uh, entire uh, scenario, two things I would like to mention it here. In the uh, last uh, two years, uh, India has launched one of the biggest education reform in the world. Not only in India, but world, because the kind of ecosystem we have, statistically we see we have almost 45,000 colleges in different capacities, around 1,200 universities at, all across the country. We have around uh, 250 million students in different capacities. So if you convert them into opportunities for our ecosystem, it is something really we can look up to. And most importantly, the national education policy has put impetus on multilingualism. So now the silos of language are over. So when we have more language, we have opportunity to convert them into publishing, into content, and content in different languages will give a good business opportunity for all of us. Since you all are different, uh, recently there was a report shared by Nielsen, wherein they have estimated that uh, there is uh, roughly $115 billion annual trade of uh, book publishing. It happened all across the world. And India has a share of around 7 to 8 percent. That is effectively around 9 to 10 billion uh, dollar every year. Uh, with this pace, the way we are growing, we are looking up that uh, next uh, two years by 2025, we are going to cross a barrier of around 12 to $12.5 billion. So I think uh, that uh, complete pool is open to all of us, the entire ecosystem where we can really explore and uh, really uh, help each other. Uh, one more thing, this uh, New Delhi World Book Fair, which we have started, we have good participation from all languages across the country, across the world, a lot of uh, pavilions have been put. Uh, I would like to share and tell that uh, we are going to have New Delhi rights table. That was much in demand. So this year, we have put an automated uh, system where you can apply online, 
fix your meetings. Right now, I think 85 uh, delegations confirmation I already have, which has converted to around 375 plus uh, uh, combinations of interactions. So I'm sure uh, these kind of platforms will create a great ecosystem where we can exchange rights, where we can exchange content and also see collaboration. Now with the COVID impact, uh, publishing has to go in a hybrid mode as well, whether it is e-form, e-content, or a different kind of audio books, or whether they are uh, animation based or illustration based. So this uh, combination of publishing, where we have to find various mechanisms to augment learning, because the end of publishing is not that just publish it, it has to lead to some learning value. And learning can be enhanced by achieving these hybrid combinations. So I'm really excited and uh, very, very positive that some good collaborations, opportunities are going to come up. Again, uh, the concluding point, I will just say one thing. We have a very uh, important role to play in nation building, wherever we are. And in the global world, when the world order is changing, the education and knowledge is getting globalized and internationalized, we have to open this door of knowledge. And knowledge can connect uh, like anything. The most important part in this that we have to be very, very responsible in uh, issuing our content because it is going to shape the mind of the people all over the world. So our content has to be world class, with global values, with global uh, learning, and uh, that's what the motto of our G20 is, one world, one future, one family, and Vasudev Kutumkam. So in Vasudev Kutumkam, this is our Kutumkam of publishing system. And I wish you all the best, a great stay here, a great uh, World Book Fair experience here, and I'm sure whatever suggestions you have, we are happy to accommodate them and make it a better version when you visit us next time. The new world-class infrastructure you have seen yesterday, you have seen the uh, layout, you have seen the performance, you have seen the display of all uh, publishing uh, uh, partners in country. I'm sure it's going to be a very fruitful and productive uh, experience. Thank you so much, and I want to personally convey thanks to our Secretary of School Education, who has been more than warm to be here and to address. He's a good orator. I'm really happy to listen to him. So thank you so much for being here with us. And uh, thank you so much. And